Hi, it's John, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bundle of campfire kindling. Today we have five different axes. The first one is a splitting maul, which is really, really heavy and used to split really hard wood. Then we have a splitting axe, which is a nice and light and has these flares that help split the wood. Then we have a small axe, which you're going to be using the most of today. Then we have a hatchet, which is really small. Then we have a really cool broad axe, which is so antique you can't use it. The perfect wood for splitting is cedar. It burns nice and it splits easy. You recognize it because it's really light, has unique bark, and it smells really good. There are four crucial safety tips we have to follow. The first one is to inspect your axe for any damage. Check for any blemishes or cracks. The second one is to clear the area of any object so there's nothing you can trip on or fall. The third one is to set up your blood zone so no one comes anywhere near you when you're swinging your axe. Get your arm's length and your axe. That's how big your blood circles should be. The fourth is to plant your feet firmly on the ground. So if you miss, the axe will go straight through your legs. Always make sure you have a solid piece of wood on the bottom that you're splitting on to prevent the ground from absorbing your blow in the right angle for your axe. Next, plant your feet firmly on the ground and line up your shot. Make sure you give yourself a couple extra inches for when you scratch out. And then start splitting. Then when you have small enough pieces, switch to the smaller axe and keep splitting. Keep going until you have a nice big pile. Then take a bucket and a piece of string, then tie a loop at the end of it. Next, fill your bucket with a whole lot of kindling. Now, flip your bucket over and put the piece of string over the pieces and tie a knot. And there you have it, you got a nice pile of kindling. Thanks for watching.